you were to ask every mountain hunter on the planet to name their bucket list hunts, the overwhelming majority are probably going to list off one of the great Argali species. Argali is a Mongol word translated as wild sheep, and these sheep are the largest in the world. I've dreamed of hunting them for as long as I can remember. This was one of those hunts for me that I never thought was truly going to happen, but sometimes between hard work, hustle, and a lot of luck, you get that opportunity. Mine came when my good friend Henry Steffington, who runs the Real Big Five, messaged me and told me about the chance to add an Argali permit that came available onto my upcoming Ibex hunt in Kyrgyzstan. Well, we just got into base camp after a uh, long drive on a pretty sketchy road. Uh, long day of traveling, flew in early this morning, been driving all day. And, uh, we're pretty excited to get here. Gonna unpack, resort our gear, get on horseback, and uh, ride out to our spike camp tomorrow. But uh, for now, just uh, happy to be out of the vehicle and on the ground. Get ready for uh, the horseback ride out today. We're going to base camp number two. It's an eight hour horseback ride. So reconsolidated all over deer. Got it packed on the horses. We're getting ready to take off right out in the snow here. Weather's supposed to clear and uh, we'll be hunting this time tomorrow. Just getting to the area we were gonna hunt was an adventure in and of itself. But once there, the scenery was nothing short of spectacular. The area was very rugged, filled with towering snow-covered peaks that jutted out in every direction. The views here looked like they were straight out of a movie set or off of a postcard. Well, here we are, uh, hunt day one. After three and a half days of travel, we finally made it to Spike Camp. Long, cold night last night, but uh, we're up, we're excited, we're ready to go. Guides are getting the horses ready, we're getting our deer ready. Gonna split up into two groups. Uh, one guy's going for Ibex, and then uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find a Marco Polo to shoot today. With our deer packed and horses saddled up, the guides knew exactly what drainage we were heading to first. It wasn't long and we were in the middle of sheep. It happened fast. Too fast as it caught us all off guard and how low and where the sheep were bedded as we crossed from one drainage into the next. We quickly scrambled to get set up and put some glass on the group to see if there were any shooters. The guide spotted a group of sheep back up in here. And it's got two absolute giants in it. So we're putting a game plan together as best we can right now. And see if we can't make a sneak up this drainage and uh, close the distance to a shot of one of these giants. As it so often does, the mountain wind shifted, blowing the rams out of the morning beds we watched helplessly as they traveled up and over the mountain out of sight. Discouraged but optimistic, the guides thought we could ride around the mountain and pick them back up again on the other side. Sure enough, a few short hours later, we found the band of five rams bedded on a ridge line near the top of the next drainage over. With another plan in place and a stock route chosen, we were now on foot slowly climbing our way up out of sight. Now pushing 14,000 feet, our lungs burned with every step as we struggled to keep up with our guide. Once on top, we quickly picked up the rams bedded directly across the drainage from us. It was a long shot, but one that I was very comfortable taking that I had practiced more times than I could count. Set up, rock solid, I was ready to send the shot on an absolute giant of a ram on day one of the hunt.
The shot sequence felt perfect, but the ram quickly disappeared out of sight, climbing over the next ridge without a scratch on him. I've missed before and made that walk a shame, but never like this. This was the most important shot I've taken on a hunting trip at missing that opportunity I had waited a lifetime for. We uh, put a stock on an absolute giant ram yesterday. I was able to get a shot off, but the wind just kicked our butts. And so we're gonna see if we can't dig him back up again today. We're gonna split up. Hopefully we can get it done today. Once again, things happened quicker than expected. And as soon as we hit the mouth of the drainage, we were on sheep. There were two rams in the bottom of the creek drinking. So we quickly scrambled to get off the horses and into a shooting position on the side of the cut. The shot broke clean and was followed by the echo of a solid telltale thump. I got set up on the biggest of the two, uh, made the shot, absolutely hammered him. At that time, two more big rams came up out of there. Those three went up the hill. My ram went uh, a little bit down the drainage, but uh, he's down and uh, just not, not sure what else to say. It's lifelong dream, Marco Polo. It's the pinnacle of sheep hunting, you know, top tier. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. I'm super excited to go put my hands on my ram. As we walked up on the big Argali, it was a flood of emotions for me. I can't believe how big the body is on him. From the lowest of lows the day before to the highest of highs now. As I took it all in, it was hard to believe I was actually standing over an animal I had only dreamed about hunting. I wouldn't even know where to begin to describe just how incredible of an adventure this hunt was. From the mountains to the guides and everything else in between, start to finish, it exceeded every hope or expectation I could have possibly had. It'll never be lost on me or taken for granted at just how lucky I am that I was able to experience the pinnacle of sheep hunting. <laughs>